Welcome, I'm Lori Layal. I'm an independent consultant and leader with Pink Zebra. And today I am going to show you some of the shades that are in the fall 2019 catalog. Um, I, in a previous video, I showed you all of our lights, so you can check that out if you'd like to see all our lights. Today I'm gonna to focus on the accent shades and how that changes um, the look to give what you want. We are going to do nine different shades. This one is the Gourd. It's a real lightweight and it, uh, with tin, um, all this part, so it's nice lightweight. If you put them over the black foliage um, light, that's his look. Or if you wanted to keep it with the Gourds and the Pumpkins, there's that look. Um, but if you want a solid color simmering light, you can do that. Isn't that nice? Um, and then the other option is let's try it with the orange crackle or terracotta and see if we like it like that. So that is how a shade completely looks different based on um, which light you put under it. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the clock. Now for the clock, I would not use these. Let's see. Let's try this with maybe some different looks. We'll start with the black crackle. Now this shade, accent shade, it covers the base. So also be aware of that, like the gourd, you can see the base. This one it doesn't, so it's on wood grain, but it doesn't make any difference. Um, because it's a clock, let's see, I think Travel Diaries might be a fantastic option, right? And then let's do a black plaid. All right, so there, there it is with the black crackle. There it is with Travel Diaries. Oh, and this clock takes a one AA battery and it is a working clock. And then this one, with the black, looks like that. The only other one, I wanna show you a solid color, so let's do the blue. I did blue, let's see. Let me go back. So again, completely changes the look, but depending on the light that's underneath, but so many work, it's just what look you prefer. So, here in the wine bottle, please. The next one I'm gonna show you, my daughter's my assistant here, um, is a wine bottle. Now the wine bottle, this one, since blue is here, it has that look, that looks blue, it actually, that would be my first choice. This is Candle Glow, which is one of our most popular lights because it's so versatile. Put the wine bottle over that, ba-boom. Let's do it with our blush burgundy light. And then, let's say we have a print. Which print should we put under? What do we think here? Uh, let's do, oh, look at this. This is our new emerald green one. Because I don't think anyone would ever think to put these together. That actually looks pretty nice, right? See that? So that's how it completely changes depending on what you want. So let's do the, let's do our Halloween ones. Hand me on the Halloween ones, please. Thank you, my daughter assistant. So, oh, this is working out perfect. So I love, this is our Sugar Skull shade. It is a hand painted shade for the, um, honestly for Halloween. I absolutely adore this shade with the purple. Our blush burgundy, to me it's purple. Um, can you see that? Can you see the eyes coming through? I yeah. love that shade um, with that light. I think it looks so cool, but let's see, because I know black, crackle. I really like this shade with the crackles, uh, but I will show you what they can look like. Something else. So there it is with the black crackle. But if you need a, um, like blue, you say you're not a crackle person, it still has a fantastic look. So, um, as for prints underneath, I mean, I guess you could do like a black plaid or whatnot, but I don't think it'd be my first choice for this one. Um, glossy yellow, I think, would also. So many of these colors work for Halloween, and this shade has so many colors on it that you could do so much with it. So that is that one. The next Halloween is. Um, is our poison bottle. Now this one, look at this. It's, it, all right, so this one's on the breakable side. But see how it looks like this? You ready for it? Ready? Look how cool that is. Isn't that so awesome? I love this one. So this is with glossy yellow underneath. Again, 
See on this one, you can see the base. It just it completely depends. So um, which one do you pick? So this is with glossy yellow. This is with glue, right? So if you want that darker look, the darker light, you know, you're not gonna see as much as other little polka dotties. But let me show you what would happen. Like, let's say, well, let's just try the purple. Let's just, so look at that, with a crackle, you don't see a ton of the crackle. So if you have a crackle and you want this light, it's not gonna change the effect of, of the shape, which in my opinion is smart for this shape, because this is not a shape where you want it to be too busy and it's already cool enough. So, um, yeah, so a solid color over that, but let's do a print so you can see the difference. So let's say you had picked black black. Oh yeah, totally works. So this is a shade that regardless of the light underneath, it won't affect um, how this looks. What it'll affect is how much of these um, dots you will see coming through. The brighter the light, the more you'll see it. That's really the only difference. It's good to know, right? All right, my last Halloween shade is our skeletons. It's so fun, I love this one. So look at this. Works with blue. This, this guy, he has a blue tie. In my display in my office, I show him with the yellow. Is there yellow on here? There isn't even yellow on here. So I just love that. I think it looks like, you know, Dancing skeletons. Ooh, it looks really good with the yellow. <laughs> That's my second grader. <laughs> and then if you did it with a crackle, it could work as well. So here it is with that. So um, again, let's see what, let's try with the pumpkins because I said I wanted to show you with um, all the different ways. That totally works, right? So this shade is fall festival. You can use all fall and you can use it from, you know, August to December 1st, but then just for when you decorate for Halloween, put that over and bam, it completely makes it a Halloween shade. I like that. So those are the three Halloween um, theme. Oh, the gourd could be all fall. All right, hand me another one, Sydney. Uh, well, this one. This is such an amazing accent shade that this was once featured on um, the cover of our catalog. So, let's just switch it up because I've used purple now a long time. Let's do, let's do orange. Let's just do something just so you can see that certain shades. So this one also covers the base. It doesn't make a difference what color base you have. Um, it's not going to show. And then this one is just so fabulous with a world map, right? Because a globe world map. What a perfect set that is. This, that one is um, my favorite together, but it also works with, uh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful with the blue. I'll show you with the blue, but I use blue down so much. I want to show you that if you do a candle glow, this candle glow is one of our best selling colors. It's still a beautiful decorative piece for your house. I mean, offices, travel agents, um, a man cave, but it could just be in your house. Like, you know, globes are popular items for people to have. So for people to see that, it is quite um, a beautiful piece that can work in basically any room of that house. Okay, we have two more. The next one is our farmhouse shade. Our farmhouse shade, thank you, thank you. This is so cute, right? This is like, um, look at that. I love it because it like pops and the colors are going to change depending on what you have under it. So it says farmhouse and then it has two little wheat pieces. It has this rope uh, feature around which, um, look at that. So here it is and you can see that with the pumpkins underneath and when you're looking at it like it doesn't look weird or funny. It's like oh it's farmhouse and it has like, you'd be, one would think like more of like an orangey than more almost like a reddish and then white. Um, but it looks pretty cool. You can see that. And then you can do it on a crackle. I am going to show you though with glossy yellow. I love glossy yellow. So there it is with the crackle look. I actually love that. The orange crackle. The farmhouse look. I do also really like the wood grain base with this shade. Because I feel like the uh, wood grain base and the rope work together. Um, they just complement each other and it, it just brings it in. But I do have to show you on glossy yellow. Um, because it's just one of my favorites. So that's our farm pop shade. 
The last shade I'm going to show you is our football shade. Our football shade, uh, it feels like a football. It has that texture that like a football does, uh, which is super cool. Um, and then it says team here, and this is the part that's gonna light up. So while it has the lace uh, details, I'm gonna actually show you this way so you can see. One of the things I love about this shade is that you could actually customize this with the team that you root for by putting the right color light underneath. So um, let me think about this, orange. So when I think orange, I think um, Cincinnati, right? Cleveland, I think they both have orange in their colors. And look at that, bam. So if even a high school, anybody plays football, whatever their color is, so there's that. Um, now the yellow, I guess we could say Green Bay, uh, Steelers, but there's the yellow. And then blue, now this one off, this light uh, shade, it does sit on top of the base, so you will be able to see it. But if you do the wood grain, it kind of just matches the brown. If you do the white, it kind of matches this part. And then if you do the black, it matches the laces. Um, the blue is probably one of my most popular lights to put under the shade because you can do Cowboys, you can do New York Giants, you can do Boston. There's so many teams that use um, blue as their color. Of course, I'm thinking NFL. Um, but there's so many, uh, like the orange, if you're a text, uh, UT fan, um, there's just so many different colors. The black crackle, there's so many uh, teams that black is a color like, or silver, like the Raiders, there's just so many. So um, this is a super popular uh, shade, and I know um, a lot of people who use this in their boys' room to play football. Uh, it's a great, great shade. Uh, for that, or a man cave, or your sports room, uh, or if you root for a team and you put this on, on Sundays or Monday nights or Friday nights, whenever your, your team plays, and that is the shade that you put on your li living room near the TV while you root for your favorite team and make your house smell good. So those are the shades that I wanted to show you. It is not all the shades that are in the fall 2019 catalog, but it sure is, um, a good idea of what it has and how they all change depending on the light underneath. Any questions, please let me know. Remember, any order um, from my website that's $50 or more gets free shipping. So you get a light, you get a shade, and in every scenario, that would be free shipping. Don't forget that.